Hello children today we shall learn how to buy things with coins and paper notes how nice it feels to live a life in which you get whatever you want like delicious food beautiful clothes and a great house to live in you don't need to be a king to live like that you just need to be successful in life and earn money as we know we need money for fulfilling all needs like food cloth shelter so we must learn how to use it in right way and how to save the money also what is needed to buy an ice cream you can use few coins or paper note but how many coins or notes if you look at the coins or paper note you would find a number written on it that number tells the value of that coin like here is one coin and 50 is written on it 50 can you buy a toy car costing 35 rupees with it no this coin is worth 50 paise only so what is paise or rupee they are the unit of measurement of money in india in other countries also there are similar other units of measurement of money like united states of america has cents and dollars if you look closely you would find paise or rupees written on the coin or note you find in india which helps you to know the right value of the coin or the note like 50 paise coin as you can see on the left side or the 1 rupee coin you can see on the right side not only numbers writing you would find many beautiful pictures symbols and ashok stamp or ashok pillar on the coin or the note they look very beautiful you know the first paper note was used in china long long ago in 7th century so how do we buy things say a toffee costs 50 paise so we can pay a 50 paise coin if we have but say if you want to buy a banana that is costing 1 rupee and you only have few 50 paise coins what would you do well you can pay 1 rupee using 50 paise coins too hmm how because 1 rupee is same as 100 paise and we know 50 plus 50 is equal to 100 so if we take 250 paise coins that is 50 paise plus 50 paise we have 100 paise and we know 100 paise is same as 1 rupee so 250 paise coins is same as 1 rupee coin so to buy that banana worth 1 rupees if you don't have 1 rupee coin we can pay 250 paise coins correct children because 250 paise is equal to 100 paise and 100 paise is same as 1 rupee this sounds like fun right let's take another example you know sometime back there used to be 25 paise coins also so now let's say that same banana which is now costing 1 rupee how many 25 paise coins you will need to buy this banana worth 1 rupee we know 1 rupee is equal to 100 paise and 50 paise plus 50 paise is 100 paise that is 1 rupee but we only have 25 paise coins so what do we do we know 25 plus 25 is equal to 50 So two twenty-five paise coins is equal to fifty paise. 
दैट इज 25 प्लस 25 पैसे इज इक्वल टू 50 पैसे एंड वी नो 250 पैसे कॉइन्स मेक वन रुपी सो व्हाट वी कैन डू 425 पैसे कॉइन्स विल मेक वन रुपी 25 प्लस 25 प्लस 25 प्लस 25 इज इक्वल टू 100 पैसे विच इज वन रुपी सो फोर कॉइन्स ऑफ 25 पैसे कैन बी यूज टू बाय अ बनाना वर्थ वन रुपी लेट्स टेक अनादर एग्जाम्पल लेट्स से वी वॉन्ट टू बाय एन आइसक्रीम and say the ice cream costs 7 rupees and 50 paise how would you pay the ice cream man first let us pay 7 rupees we only have coins of 5 rupee and 2 rupees so we can pay 7 rupees by 1 5 rupee coin and 1 2 rupee coin 5 plus 2 is equal to 7 correct but the ice cream is 7 rupees and 50 paise so now we can pay 50 paise by using a 50 paise coin so 7 rupees 50 paise means we have taken 1 5 rupee coin 1 2 rupee coin so 5 plus 2 7 rupees and 1 50 paise coin how will you pay 3 rupees and 75 paise for an orange first let's pay 3 rupees so we take a 2 rupee coin and a 1 rupee coin 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 so now we have a 2 rupee coin plus 1 rupee coin that is equal to 3 rupees now we have to pay 75 paise extra so we will take a 50 and a 25 paise coin we know 50 plus 25 is equal to 75 So fifty paise plus twenty five paise will be equal to seventy five paise. So to buy the orange of three rupees and seventy five paise, we will take a two rupee coin and a one rupee coin that adds to three rupees, and a fifty paise coin and a twenty five paise coin that adds to seventy five. So the total is three rupees and seventy five paise. so wherever you are buying something like toffee ice cream etc keep the rupee parts and paise parts separate 10 rupee 50 paise means 10 rupees and 50 paise when we buy something we pay paise part by using coins like 50 paise coin 25 paise coin etc and we can pay rupees part by using coin or paper note like 2 rupee coin 5 rupee coin 10 rupee note etc but remember one important thing take care of the money don't spend it unnecessarily money is very precious because it comes from the hard work of your parents day and night correct So this is all for now children bye bye